Good morning YouTube, it's your boy Randall, bringing you another video. I'm uh, going to have kind of an interesting video today. It's going to be, uh, well, um, the filming is going to be uh, me repairing my, um, my lifting platform, kind of moving one of the, uh, the stall mat squares to the front so that I can uh, do some deadlift off of it without removing my squat rack forward. So, which is, you know, going to be for some upcoming videos here. I'll be uh, um, testing my maxes again to uh, start a new program. And that's actually kind of the uh, topic I wanted to get into today was my programming and where I'm kind of seeing myself in the future. And it's something that I've been struggling with because I was at an impasse between you know, trying to come up with a niche or something to do on YouTube so that, you know, I could have, I could start building a following for that. And one of the things I came up with was doing a new program every month and um, just showing how it affects your body and stuff. But it was really bugging me, you know, and I made that video about it and I just, something about it I just couldn't get past and, you know, I just wasn't, excited really deep down inside to do that program and I was wondering why you know and I was you know day after day I was still post videos and you know on Instagram and stuff and I just you know something was eating at me inside and I was wondering what and finally came to the conclusion that um, I had to look at what my goals were and what I really wanted you know health wise in my life and the whole purpose of starting this YouTube channel. Um, and, you know, that purpose was just to kind of keep myself accountable and to hopefully inspire anyone else that may see my video that, you know, you can, you know, have basic workout equipment and just trying to inspire them to use what they have to get, get up early, get fit, you know, apply some kind of health regimen to their life, you know, so they can have a healthier time with their kids and their wife and longevity. And, you know, that's why I made this channel was so that people could see me doing what I love and be inspired, you know, even if it's, you know, in a dirty old basement with some wild dogs and, you know, some cheap equipment with barely enough weights to do a a like 360 pound deadlift with but you know but that was the goal you know and I and I strayed away from that when I started getting and it sounds crazy but when I started getting like you know more subscribers than my family you know so more than three subscribers I was like man these are real people that are subscribed to me and I started thinking how can I best make this video something that they want to watch which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I improved, you know, some quality things in my videos that I think were a good change, but the fact of me changing almost my whole goal, switching it to like changing up programs every month just so you guys could see how it affects my body. I don't know, I just I couldn't I couldn't get down with that because I would be sacrificing, you know, for trying to get subscribers and views. For the fact that I would be losing an opportunity to make real life, you know, gains with my strength and my conditioning and everything because I'd be jumping ship every month to a new program. And I know, you know, like if I did Zumba or P90X for a month, I'm sure I'd get stronger in some areas, but more than likely I'd probably lean down and lose some fat. And you know, that's not really my goal. I'm I'm not a fitness model. I'm not trying to, you know, lean down. All I want to, I mean, if that's a result of my programming, then I'm happy with it. But my programming, I want it to be, you know, I want to be the strongest, fastest, you know, healthiest version of myself I can be f and focusing on longevity and functionality. I don't want to be the person that, you know, benches 500 pounds, but then can't even run a mile, you know, without huffing and puffing. But then again, I don't want to be the person that runs marathons and gets, you know, pushed over in the grocery store and breaks their arm because they're, you know, 
just so frail. I just, and I'm not saying that everybody who runs marathons is like that or every strongman is like that. And that's the point. I want to be that person that's in the middle that, you know, can run, you know, six miles and be okay and can, you know, lift, you know, more than their body weight on bench and, you know, just some good numbers that are, you know, reasonable. I want to, you know, be able to be in a position that I can be doing these these things and my kids can see and they can see that, oh man, my dad is only working out, you know, for like 60 minutes every morning and he can get fit and he can get strong and he can get fast and, you know, he's functional. He, you know, I don't want to be that person that spends multiple hours in the gym trying to work on my physique, trying to work on this and that. The reason I do health programming and fitness is for the fact of functionality and longevity. I don't ever want to stray from that. I don't want to start making videos for the purpose of gaining subscribers. What I would love is to gain subscribers that actually care, you know, about being a functional dad or people that are just trying to look for some motivation that, you know, to get off the couch, even if it's just simply watching me do my day to day. And those are the people I'm striving to have as subscribers. I'm, I, I just need to stop what I'm doing with getting worried about being relevant. I need to focus on what I really, you know, strive and have a heart for. And I need to just nail that down. And, and that is, you know, functional based training for longevity. And to inspire dads and to inspire anybody to just get up, get at it, you know, and get fit, you know, and be beasts. I mean, we can be beasts without having to deadlift a thousand pounds. You know, we, we can, uh, we can be animals without, you know, you know what I mean? Anyway, so that brings me to my programming. What's coming up? I'm gonna, um, you saw me fixing my deadlift platform and stuff and clean it up a little bit and stretching because I'm going to take the next couple days and kind of be stretching in the morning. Still doing my runs. Those are good. Um, just going to be stretching, warming up, taking a breather, and then I'll rest for a couple days. Then I'll test a max on one of my things, whether it be a three rep max, one rep max, five rep max. I'll figure out my maxes for squat, bench, um, deadlift, and, uh, and uh, press. I'll figure out those maxes over the next, you know, week, taking rest days, multiple rest days in between, because then I will be starting one of the programs that I, I touched on, oh, you know, a, almost a year ago, I think. I uh, bought the books for it and read on it, and I love the programming. It's called T Tactical Barbell. And, um, you know, it's exactly what I strive for. It's for the guy who works nine to five, that wants to be strong, wants to be fast, wants to be fit, doesn't have all the time in the world to train. Yeah, it seems like a great program, tactical barbell. It's what I'm going to be uh, sticking with and training for. And, and if you want to subscribe and like, feel free to. I would love that still. I, I'm really striving for, you know, quality over quantity anymore. You know, I'm not, I'm not striving to do this as a career or anything. I'm just trying to inspire, you know, and help people get on that journey to health. And I'm going to be doing what I love to do that. You know, I don't want to compromise that. So, um, thank you for all the support, everybody that's been there. I will be starting this tactical barbell um, probably February 1st. I'll take a before picture then, too. I, uh, yeah. I'm excited. I hope you, I hope everybody can get behind this and, you know, I don't lose too much support. But uh, this is going to be the journey. Tactical barbell, getting as strong, fast, and fit as we can. We'll test our maxes. We'll take a before pick, and then we'll hit it. We'll hit it hard. Stay beast, you guys.